Hello, and welcome again to another episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda on the NES, the original. My name is Keith, aka Keithius, and when we last left off, I had utterly failed to take you through level 5. Shame on me! But we're back now, and actually I've let you in on a little secret. I'm recording this video back to back with the original, so. Because <clears throat> I don't feel like leaving in the middle of a dungeon. And now we're gonna finish this sucker, I hope. Another key that I don't really need. Oh, and these guys have. Boy, I'm getting plenty of bombs here. What I really need, though, is money. Because at some point here, there's going to be somebody who offers to let me carry more bombs. And I need money. Alright. Bomb the walls. Zelda classic. Of course, in this game... Ah! Ooh. There are no uh, cues to let you know that you can bomb a wall, unlike say, A Link to the Past. So excuse me for one minute, I'm gonna have to concentrate a little bit here to avoid dying while killing these guys. Because these guys, being blue, are the stronger version of the red guys. And though I can kill the... Ah, stop following me! Red guys in one hit now. God, I suck at this! There we go. The blue guys still take two hits, even with the magic sword. So, hmm, where does this take me? I wonder. All the way up here. Huh. What could be over here? Let's go this way. Ah, more of you guys. Glad I bought those potions earlier, because I may need them. Ah. Now, there are people who try to do, like, swordless runs of Zelda, and how they defeat these guys is bombs, usually, from what I've seen. Ooh, that was close. Ah! They change directions, like, randomly, so they're really, really difficult to deal with. And we get a secret. We go down here, and ooh, what a surprise. It's this level's treasure. The flute. The recorder. Or, if you're more of a modern Zelda fan, the ocarina. It wasn't called that at the time, though. And, geez, that looks like an eye over there, actually, on the map. I wonder if we can bomb down. To tell you the truth, I don't remember if we can. But let's find out. Nope. But I have a funny feeling that I can over here to the right. So let's see. Bomb. No. I was wrong. And let's use a key since I can. And we end up in a dead end. I'm almost certain I cannot bomb my way out of here. I have to go back through the secret passage. The underground passage. Although the whole level is underground, so it's kind of silly to call it an underground passage. But I did anyways, so there. Ooh, do you see that boomerang action? Sideways. It's completely accidental, so don't give me any credit for that. Alright, so... Now we can... Oh, you guys are back, because I traveled too far away. But I'm going to kill you anyways, because you might give me some hearts, or maybe even a fairy, which I could really use right about now. And... Oh. I can't get out? I don't remember that. Uh-huh. Stupid one-way doors. I'll show you. Ah. Uh, Light up the darkness. Yeah, fire. Kill you guys. Get on my way. And let's see. I want to go upright. All right. 
I do use my map quite a bit in these later levels. I can ignore you guys, because I've already killed you and gone that way. I suppose since I bombed my way into that room, I, I didn't need to kill them. All that obsessing I did over bombs was pointless. Hmm. Oh well. Ooh, money. Ah, I'm an idiot. Come here, you. Why aren't you guys giving me any treasure? Oh, heart's nice. Oh, I hate dungeons with lots of dark rooms. Bombs, just what I don't really need. Oh well. Up we go. Ooh, took a hit there. Shouldn't have. Now you can kill these rabbits with your sword, it just takes longer. They're weak against arrows. I wonder if that was in the American version as well. You also can't stun them with your boomerang, which is kind of a bummer. And... the map says there's something up there, so... Huh. I guess I could have bombed my way there. Let's... go there and find out. Hang on a second. I'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. Sorry for the, uh, wait there. Except it wasn't a wait for you, because the video was paused, so haha. -ha. And, yep, I can bomb my way through here. And, naturally, I'm two rupees off. Oh, you bastard. Ugh, oh, that's so annoying. Ugh, hang on a second. I'll be back once I get two more rupees, I guess. Okay. Well, that was hideously embarrassing. I'm glad that was off-screen, but in case you couldn't guess by the fact that uh, I had to use my potion and, well, I guess you really wouldn't have any way of knowing, but I died. Shameful. I thought I used to be good at this game. It's hard sometimes when playing on an emulator with a controller that has this gigantic D-pad, which is very awkward to use and not exactly responsive in any way, shape, or form. But there I go, making excuses. I did much better when I played through this on my Wii. And of course, that was one of when you know when Zelda came out for the Wii, the original. Uh, I of course bought it right away because it was one of my favorite games. This and uh, games like Mario 3, Mario 2 was a fun game, um, ironically DuckTales, oh, give me the clock now, now that the last enemy is dead, thanks a lot. Um, I like Chippendales Rescue Rangers, um, did not like Zelda 2, The Adventures of Link. Never made it very far in that game. It was just too gosh darn hard. It was, well, it was really hard. Let's just leave it at that, all right? Ah, oh, you stupid mummies. Smash you into a million pieces. Come here. Yeah, that's right. Meet my boomerang. Ah! See, there it goes again. The controller is killing me. For quick movements, it's just a little bit too big. <sighs> Dark rooms, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get some bombs. Well, at least I managed to get my more bombs thing done. Oh, and also I should mention I'm playing this video now, or playing this game, in a larger screen size on my computer, which hopefully will make it 
a little bit higher quality on YouTube when I upload it. We'll see. The key to killing this these bunny things is to um, get them from above. They tend to move a lot laterally, but not so much up and down. Alright. Where was I? Going this way. We're getting there. We're getting there. Kill some mummies. We get another key we don't technically need, but it'll come in handy later, I'm sure. Probably in level 9, which I hate. Have I mentioned that already? I think I have. bouncing all over the race. Let's see if we can get three of them at once. Oh, yes! I love it when I can do that. You can also use the arrow to pick up things, um, which is kind of a waste with um, rupees like you just saw me do there. Uh, I'm going to skip this guy for now because I want to go to this room. Because, um, of course, it uses a rupee to, uh, to fire. And what do we got here? A room full of mummies. Nice. Well, they might give me some hearts, which I could use. Thank you. Yep. Alright. So let's equip our new item and go kill this boss. It's actually pretty easy. He's invincible right now. I couldn't touch him even if I wanted to. So let's play some music. And he shrinks down in size. And the noise he makes, the screaming noise, changes as well. Most uneventful boss ever. Anyways, for our troubles, we get another piece of the Triforce, which is always nice. And we can move on to level 6. If we ever get there. I also figured out why my video recording software cut me off the other day. Apparently, it has a, well, it, I knew it had a 10 minute limit on recording. Um, it's Microsoft's expression encoder screen recording software, in case you're curious. Um, but apparently that timer keeps counting even while you're paused, while, you, while you're, you've paused the video recording, which seems kind of silly to me, because uh, it obliviates the usefulness of the timer that it has, but you know, I, I guess they gotta force you to buy the... Come on, Link. Um, the top of the line version somehow. I guess. Link is not moving for me here. I don't know why. Anyways, let's go down. And we're taking some hits. And we should be able to make it to level 6. Yeah. But first, let's use our new transportation network, because I've taken a few hits. Actually, no, I don't really need to now that I've got that heart. But let's do it anyways. Let's go find a fairy. Nope. Wrong one. I know there are ways to, like, remember this. I don't remember them. Um, let's see here. So, middle one's no-go. Let's try this one. Yeah, that's one we wanted. And of course, once you've exposed one, um, and traveled through it, the one on the other end is automatically available all the time. That was a wasted trip. But now that you have these, it's handy. And we could theoretically use our new whistle, our new, uh, recorder to get to the next uh, level very quickly. If you play it, a tornado comes and picks you up. But I wanted to show you how to get there the old-fashioned way. And that's it. It's right here. And I don't think there's any secret entrance to this one. I always like trying to go in this one dead center. I don't know why it's wider than all the others, but it is. Anyways, down we go. 
And since I'm not going to use keys from a dungeon I haven't collected them from yet, let's go right. And it's another dark room. What a surprise. Oh, whiz robes. I hate these guys. Everyone hates these guys. They shoot stuff at you, which fortunately my shield can block. And they pop up all over the place. So now we've got one key, but two doors to use it in. Hmm. Which way should we go? Let's go back this way. I've got keys to burn, so I don't really care. Alright, got the boss, the master uh, enemy. See that? I killed the one here, and the one remaining one vanished as well. It's nice when that happens. There's no way to tell who's the boss, of course, but um, it is handy when it happens. And now we get the compass. And it looks like this is the forward way through the castle. So I'm going to backtrack just a little bit before I get too far out of out of the path here. And go this alternate route. Probably takes us to the uh, secret treasure. Although, like I said, I don't remember. I'm doing this blindly from memory. Oh, it's just this guy. Yeah, thanks a lot for that, old man. Anyways, that's all for this episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda. This is Keith, signing off. Have a good day. Bye.